I first got involved in research at Fragile X during my uh, visiting stints uh, at MIT, and some of this work then eventually evolved towards focused research on Fragile X syndrome itself. That's when I first also got to know Fraxa. And Mark Baer is the first one to tell me about Fraxa, which led to my first meeting with uh, Mike Chanfaglia, followed by Katie Clapp, and then eventually Andy. And that's those interactions really led to my keen interest in Fragile X research. There are very few people, almost nobody, looking at how Fragile X syndrome affects the amygdala. And that's what really led me into this research. Yeah, the Prime Minister of India's visit to my lab was quite an unique experience. He was particularly interested in the stem cell based models. And I actually set up experimental rigs with the Fragile X neurons in the rigs with the electrophysiological equipment. So you can actually take a look through the microscope see how we do the experiments and he asked many different questions and he was very very curious and and was a great interaction and a good learning experience for me as well to be able to convey these important findings and their clinical significance um, to the prime minister fragile x because of the personal connection with fraxa and and the families that i've met as a result both through fraxa as well as fragile x society of india gave a personal angle to it and it made it very special for me so I always feel that I have to make an extra effort, my team has to make an extra effort to find the cure, find the solution, get new insights that may make a difference in real people's real lives.